thoughts on Dexter the second season. It was an interesting exploration to have Dexter's darker side referred to as an addiction. His need to kill, you know, with him attending ah, Drug Addicts Anonymous, I don't remember what the exact, you know, and trying to get it under control in that kind of way. It was something that definitely had to happen at some point during the show to have it treated as if it is an addiction the same way, you know, there are tons of addictions, far more than many people realize. Because you can really become addicted to anything that you get some kind of pleasure from, whether it's understandable that you get pleasure from it or it's a sick kind of pleasure. But anyway, Lila. I liked her early on. And then, I don't know, I really wasn't surprised that she didn't release Dokes. I was maybe a little surprised that she yeah, right, killed him. But, I don't know, I really wasn't expecting any more positive outcome for Dokes from them meeting each other, you know, when I watched the second to last episode, and she arrived there, you know, it was a cool setup, but then, yeah. And then in the last episode, she goes completely pyromaniac crazy on them. What, she sets at least two fires in that last episode, and we know she set at least two others. One of them also leading to the death of someone. Her ex-boyfriend. I didn't feel that we got to know her enough to have this kind of... I mean, we got to know Rudy. You know, by the end of the first season, you basically understand why Rudy is not like Dexter. And you understand why Dexter is the way he is. And with this, we have this other person. I also just really hope that this isn't a trend they're going to keep up, that they're every single season going to introduce... I mean, this is as far as I've watched at this point. That they're going to introduce someone who's just like Dexter, and he's gonna kill them off at the end of the season. I mean, in this one, it wasn't even that dramatic. I didn't feel anything when Lila died. And it wasn't just because of the epidural. I don't know, I liked the character early on, I really did, but then it just got a little too... Maybe if we knew why, I don't know, maybe I missed it somewhere along the way, but I don't really remember her explaining. I mean, suddenly Dexter just realizes, you know, and he, you know, tells her what he's figured out about her, that she pantomimes emotions, as he puts it. And I can sort of see that, I guess. Excuse me, but... And as far as, you know... A female psychopath goes, fire does make sense, you know, female killers tend to, I mean, this is going to sound terribly stereotypical, but in a number of the cases it's true, they tend to go for more soft ways of killing, not, you know, knives and bullets, but yeah, more more passive ways. <clears throat> and I can kind of understand why she did go, you know, off on trying to kill um, Astra and Cody. And even Dexter, I wasn't entirely sure if that was like part of her plan, that she wanted him to figure out that, you know, 
and that she was sort of trying to get him to stay at the police station so that she could or that he was just a bonus and that she really wanted him to come and find their charred corpses I don't know but it also just seemed like if they were gonna do this they really could have had a clever kind of them tricking each other I mean in the first season he also just kind of followed along with what Rudy wanted him to do you know he did not really go against a lot of it other than not killing Mr. you know one leg and yeah in this one again just Lila tricks him a couple of times and you know It also did kind of seem like it goes back and forth between her having good plans and her really not thinking things through. Did she really not think that he would figure out that the guy who killed Dexter's mother coming to attack him that night at that exact spot was planned by Lila? I mean, I figured it out before, you know... Yeah, I think before the guy came and attacked Dexter, I already knew she sent him. Of course she did. She wants Dexter back and she's desperate, you know. The rape charge against Batista was kind of clever, though. That... I liked seeing... Oh, maybe I should... For... Yeah, dokes. So he's dead now. Okay. Fine by me. I didn't really care for him in the first place. And I'm not going to claim that his death wasn't, you know, kind of cool. But I really didn't feel anything for him when he died. It just... I don't know. Actually, the first time Dexter did capture him in this season, which was several episodes before the finale, I kind of thought that he was just going to kill him in the next episode. I don't know, I guess I kind of forgot that he has a code for a second there. But, you know, with Dokes yelling, you're going to have to kill me, I was just thinking, yeah, that's what he's going to do. That's not going to be a big problem. I did like that they had him even more on Dexter's tail this time because in the first season, I think finale, we have the showdown between them with Dexter being revealed to know a little self-defense, martial arts. Why does the forensic geek know martial arts, you know? And Dokes is on his tail. It's the very first thing we see in the season, Dokes tailing him, really. And I do love that opening with poised, ready to strike, but a spare will do. That was just... I've personally found this season much funnier than the first one. I just love the dark humor. It just seems like... Dokes... He was also a little too easy to trick. I mean, Dexter just had to headbutt him, then he walks out, you know, playing innocent, practically whistling, and Dokes comes and throws him into a table, you know, attacks him. Did you seriously not see that coming, Dokes? Did you, did you really think that, wow, that was just, I get that he's a very aggressive person, but, I don't know, the rest of the time, I mean, in the interviews on the disc. The guy who plays the role also talks about how, you know, Dokes is like playing chess with Dexter, you know, but that really wasn't a chess move. I mean, that's like sacrificing your queen and then getting checkmate right after or something. That was really stupid. Now, Deborah. I quite liked the, you know, her having to deal with having been that close to the ice truck killer and not knowing about it, you know. And Dexter, you know, until this point, Dexter's been like, Whew, thank goodness my sister can't tell, 
you know, that I can trick her because she might turn me in and now that's kind of turned into, oh shit, my sister couldn't tell with me and it almost got her killed because she couldn't tell with this other guy either, you know, and, and then they start, you know, hunting the Bay Harbor Butcher with the big overarching storyline being maybe Dexter will be exposed by the end of the season because the fir very first thing is that they find the dumped bodies. And, you know, now he has to, you know, worry about would she really, would she ever approve of it? Is, is my own sister going to, you know, arrest me? <laughs> Basically, is she going to be the one to you know, lead them to bringing me in, and it was kind of cool with the drug dealers that showed up by dokes. I was kind of thinking, dude, they're probably criminals, you know, be careful, and then he turns his back on one of them, yeah. And the new character for the season, Lundy. Quirky, very quirky, but he was okay, and it was interesting enough, I guess, with the relationship between him and Deb, although at first it seemed like it was gonna be a kind of father-daughter thing, but then she starts fucking him, and it just gets a little weird. But hey! That does happen in real life, you know. You know, some young girls get with older guys, especially if they have daddy issues. And, yeah. I did kind of like that she then, at the end, had to you know, make the choice, even though the lines were painful. Do I have to make a choice? Why do I have to? Yeah, okay. Not that much soap opera, please. But, you know, her having to make the choice between is she going to follow him or is she going to you know, stay and take care of her brother, you know, continue to hold some sway over the Miami Police Department. The relationship between Rita and Dexter I can see that they're more comfortable with each other, so there is room for someone to come and snatch Dexter away. Operative word being snatch. I just think it was a little too much to just you know, rock the boat, just to make sure that they're not on completely secure ground for you know the future and to make sure that there were some sex scenes with Lila. I... I really thought that it was gonna be... he was gonna stay with Lila from now on, you know. And I did like the... kind of should he try to go back with Rita, or should he stay with Lila, who sees him for what he is and accepts him. I don't know, it... just wasn't as... I didn't like their relationship as much as in the first season, I would say. I also just think that the ending point of the season is... I don't know, it's almost like returning status quo to where it was in the pilot, in some ways, not in the way of... Well, maybe even in the way of Rita, the relationship between Rita and Dexter, you know. They're not quite, but sort of are, and yeah. And, I mean, he's like, okay, I'm not gonna, f I'm not a disciple of Harry anymore, I'm gonna go buy my own code, or explore new rituals. Yeah, okay, th that's really it. I mean, at the end of the second season, if the first season, it was like, I just killed the only family I had left, you know. 
for the sake of my other family. That was interesting, and in this season you could very clearly see the after effects of killing his brother, you know. I don't know, I do like the continued revelations about his past and Harry who may have had an affair with Dexter's mother and that may have been what killed her and Harry might have been driven by guilt to take Dexter in. I hated Batista's whole Oprah thing. That was just really irritating. And I suppose that more or less says what there is about this season, so those are my thoughts on Dexter Season 2. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.